Welcome back to another video from your favorite geometry teacher, of course. All right, so today I am, you can see that I am using GeoGebra uh, and I'm gonna do a combination today. Uh, so what I have here are three segments and I want to build a triangle with these three segments. You have done this in class, actually, last on the last uh, lesson in, in class. How many triangles can I make with these three segments? And these segments can't stretch now. I'm going to try to move them around and line them up and make a triangle. So if I move this one over here, oops, all right. Oh, move it and it fits right there, right? Now, I can't stretch it. I just need, I, I need to figure out where to move it to though, right? So I move this one, okay, there's, that one goes there maybe, right? See, it's not so difficult. If this would, if this is one time where the computer actually is not such so friendly. So I had to put this one here on top of that and move this one, okay, I'm getting close, right? But somewhere, but it won't fit over here. I need it to fit, it, it's one segment, right? So it goes here and then, so it's a, Oh, I'm always adjusting it, and I can't grab them both, right? Almost there, almost there, and you got it, right? That, you could see by my process, and what you had to do in class, it actually was easier with the compass and straight edge. There's only one triangle that I can make given three sides. So, if I know that two triangles were made with the same three sides, then they need to be congruent, right? Now, if we know that three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of another triangle, then those two triangles are congruent. And I'm gonna write it as a conjecture. This is called the side, 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 or SSS conje uh, congruency conjecture. If the three sides of one triangle are congruent to the three sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent, and that is pretty easy to understand, right? So if I have this triangle and another triangle and this side is congruent to this side, this side is congruent to this side, and the third side is congruent to this side, I'm talking about the same triangle. And that's a picture of it, all right? Now, what other shortcut could I use besides just side, side, side? We've done that one in class. So we could mix them up. We can mix them up angles and sides, and here are all the iterations of the mixtures. We can do side, 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 and we know that one works now, right? How about angle, 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 or side, angle, side? And the way, what I mean by side, angle, side is I say that I have a side, an angle, and a, another side, and the angle that I know is, is, is the angle between the two sides. I could also talk about an angle, side, angle, that's two angles and the side in between it. We'll call that the included side or the included angle. And then we could do side, side, angle, uh, which would be the same thing if I did angle, side, side, I just choose to do side, side, angle. And then of course we could do an angle, angle, side. All of these is what we're going to uh, explore today. All right. Uh, I guess we did side, side, side. Let's move on to angle, angle, angle. Now, what that means is I have a triangle that has three angles in this one, and this triangle, of course, has three angles, and these all are congruent. Does that mean that these two triangles must be congruent? Two, three, Four. And yeah, you're right. No, that doesn't mean that because you know that I, it, it, the easiest way is I could say they're equilateral triangles and equilateral triangles come in all different sizes and in equilateral triangle all the angles are 60 degrees, right? So angle, angle, angle is no good. That's not a congruency shortcut. It tells me something that the, that the, the shapes look similar but they are not congruent and you cannot use that one. All right, let's move on. Our next 
uh, conjecture involves side, angle, side. And what we're going to do is we have two sides and the angle between them. And I have just, I'm going to just pick that angle here. Uh, I said a 30 degree angle, a 5 centimeter side, and 3 centimeter side. How many triangles can I build if I use that 30 degree angle? Uh, we'll just do like this. I put the 5 centimeter side on one, right? Boonk. I put the three centimeter side on the other side, Boop. and then I make a triangle, right? Boom. Now, if I were to do that again, let's just go backwards. Here's a 30 degree angle, right? That's the 30 degree angle. I put the five centimeter side on one side. We'll just do it on the bottom this time. I put the three centimeter side on another. So this is three, this is five, and I draw the missing side there. And if you notice, this was my three, this is my five. If I actually, even if that quick, that looks like that turns out to be darn close to three. This one turns out to be darn close to three. It's really close to a three, three, five triangle. And if I were really careful, I turn, I just made the same triangle. Remember a reflection or rotation of one triangle is not a new triangle. That's still the same triangle. So that's another conjecture. So if we have two sides and the included angle of one triangle that are congruent to two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then those two triangles are congruent. And we call that side angle side congruency conjecture. Notice that the angle between them of the two sides that we know. All right, and that one looks like a little sketch maybe. Side angle side. These two triangles are congruent. Our next conjecture to test out is angle side angle. So what that means is that I have two angles and I have the included side this time. So I'm going to put that side in between these two uh, angles. And very quickly, if I start off with the side, uh, let's I'll get close to measuring it for. Of course, you're going to construct this in class, right? Uh, that's a 60 degrees. I copy that here, and it just keeps on going. Shoop. That's a 28 degrees. I'll mark that 60. That's not really the triangle, but we'll just see. I just kind of just wanted to stay away. And that would connect right there. Now, had I done it the other way, would it really be a different triangle? This one, of course, is side one. Had I put the 60 on this side and the 28 on that side? And of course, no, you know that. That would be the same triangle. And so if we have two angles and the included side, once again, we have congruent triangles. And that's called the angle side angle congruency conjecture. If two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. And let's make a sketch of that one. So let's make boonk, boonk. So two angles, this angle is congruent to this angle, the included side right there. So those two triangles are congruent. All right, we are moving on. Our next conjecture to test is side side angle or the same thing as angle side side. This time the angle that we know is not included between the two sides. So I'm going to be a little bit more careful this time. All right, so here's the angle that I know. Here's side one. So I'm going to copy side one. I'll put that right there. So there's side one. Okay, and that's the angle. Side two is this big. And of course, if I make a mark, there would be side two. And 
And you might think, well, of course, we all made the same triangle. But I did this carefully because I could have kept on swinging that arc. And as a matter of fact, if I went out here and I extended this angle a little bit, wouldn't this one also be side one and make another triangle? That's where it gets you. Uh, this one still has angle P, side one, side two. Angle P, side one, side two. I actually have two triangles that I can make. You see, there's one that's kind of obtuse right here and one that looks acute here. Still made with the same parts. So, side, side, angle is another one that does not work. And if you just look at that, that also is the same thing as angle side side, and I don't like any of that going on, right? We don't, we don't do that, have that written down. You would be very ignorant to write down that two triangles are congruent because of angle side side or side side angle, which means the same thing. So watch out for that one. The last one we need to check out is angle angle side or side angle angle, which means that I give you two angles and a side that's not included, right? Or the side and then two consecutive angles. Okay, now this seems a little tricky, but if you think about it, if I give you two angles and it is a triangle, aren't I in fact giving you the third angle also? And the answer of course is, is, is right. Yes, I am giving you the third angle. If I give you two angles, you know that the third angle that I haven't drawn yet, and I made you do this in class already, those two angles are, are 78. You know that the three angles have, triangle sum tells us that it has to be 180, right? So the third angle that's missing is, is it an obtuse angle, right? That's going to be what, 102? That's, that's the one that's missing. Right? And so if that's missing, then I know that's a third angle. Well now I don't have to have I don't have to worry about angle angle side. I can just go and make a angle side angle. And I know that if I have a triangle that's a 40 degrees here and a 102 here and a five in between them that if I do that and you do that, then we have the same triangle, right? All right, with this conjecture, you have to watch out a little bit. You have to pay attention. All right, I have two triangles. Both of them have two congruent angles and it has a congruent side. And they're in the correct order, right? It says 5, 40, 35, 30, 40. So, so it looks like side angle angle and I just told you that side angle angle is a congruency shortcut but why are these two triangles not congruent can you can you tell me why yes you're right because the triangle inequality says that this is the shortest, excuse me, the smallest angle in the triangle. So this needs to be the shortest side. And in this triangle, the 40 degrees is the middle angle, and that's going to be the middle size. So even though these triangles are going to be very closely looking like each other, uh, one is not congruent to the other. So we need the five to be opposite the 30 degrees. So the way we word that in our congruency is that in the side angle angle congruency conjecture if two angles and the non-included side of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding angles and side of another triangle then the triangles are congruent so yes here's your sketch two angles and the non-included side. We can choose one. We'll just choose this one and this one. If you get that, then those two 
are congruent. So to recap, these were the six that we started with. This one was not helping. This one helps. This is good. Angle side angle. That's nice. Uh, there's that side side angle. That's not happy. And angle angle side. Now, and of course, these work backwards and forwards. Uh, that is the same thing as side angle angle. And uh, I don't think you have to worry about anything else. Right? All right. Uh, we will. This is so powerful, so helpful. I hope you watch this video a couple times. Okay. We will see you next time.